Good morning, gang. Happy Sunday morning. Okay, here we are. We're, what, mm, 10 days or so away from Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving's late this year. You know what uh, comes around this time of year? Winter. <laughs> yeah, and at least around here, up until the last couple of days, you really wouldn't have noticed. I mean, it's still been up in the high 60s, low 70s during the day. However, I got up this morning and it was 37 degrees. Okay, get outside and let the dog out. It's like, hmm, maybe a jacket might not be a bad idea. But it brings something up for the prepper to start thinking about. <clears throat> Have you done your winter preparation? Have you even thought about it? Okay, it's like, it's still 60, 70 degrees. I mean, I'm out working on the car yesterday. Hey, no problem. It's comfortable outside. You're not dripping in sweat. It's like, this is nice. Until you realize that, you know, in a couple of weeks, we could be in a deep freeze, depending on where you are. Okay. Uh, I mean, we all remember a couple of the deep freezes we've had in the last couple of years where... All of a sudden, in places it is not supposed to get that cold, like here, it was down in the single digits, down to zero, and you're, hmm, what's going on? So let's think about a few things <clears throat> that maybe uh, would be a good idea to take a look at. Have you checked your snow shovels out? Make sure that screws are tight. Or have you checked your snow blower? Make sure your spark plug's good, the gas isn't bad. Have you tried to start it? Have you greased, oiled any parts that need to be lubricated? It's a lot easier to do this stuff when it's still 60 degrees outside and a little more comfortable working out in the garage than it is when it's like, oh crap, I've got to go out and clear the driveway and i got to change a spark plug first. Okay. Not looking at doing something like that. Why do I say snow blowers and snow shovels? Well, if you live in Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, northern Kentucky, western Pennsylvania, western West Virginia, you're supposed to get snow this week, guys. Now, how much? It's not expected to be anything drastic. Is the ground cold enough for it to stick? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on what happens the next few days. But you don't want to get out in the morning, say this coming Friday, because the snow is really supposed to hit Wednesday night, Thursday during the day. You don't want to come out Friday morning and find, hmm, my driveway is a sheet of ice. Do you have rock salt? Might be a good idea. Okay things to look at. Cold weather is going to come. Now, I mean, if you live up in Fargo or Bozeman or International Falls or <clears throat> something like that, it's already cold. You're used to it. But the rest of the country, we haven't hit winter yet. Have you checked your house? Remember last year with the deep freeze? Have you gone and looked to see that the insulation on any outside or under your house crawl space type pipes is still good? That mice haven't got in there and chewed up the insulation. They do that, okay? They like to do that. Make sure that your pipes are wrapped because frozen pipes are a pain in the ass in the first place and burst pipes are expensive. Okay. Have you taken care of something like that? <clears throat> Here's another good one. Autumn, right? The uh, leaves on the trees have all fallen. Most of them, I mean, around here, most of the leaves are gone. 90% of them. They're all over my yard. That's why I've been cleaning them up. Have you cleaned out your gutters? Right? Okay. These are things maintenance things to take care of. Have you got the leaves off the roof? Have you got the leaves out of the gutters? Because when you do get rainy season or snowy season, all that moisture <clears throat> in the gutters 
now has nowhere to go. It can't get out. It freezes up in there. And then you end up with water up under your shingles, under your metal roof, under the tiles, whatever you have on your roof. And then you end up starting to potentially rot out your subroof. And then you've got a roof repair problem. You could wind up with leaks into the house because the water's got to go somewhere. If it can't go in the gutters, you've got problems. Things to look at are like that. Do you have your backup heat ready? A lot of you guys have big buddy heaters or something just in case the power goes out. Have you filled your propane? Do you have your propane tanks? Multiple ones, hopefully, so that when the heat goes out, you can stay warm and not freeze to death. I've told you guys many times before, 10 times as many people die from the cold than die from the heat. You know, every year we see hundreds, if not thousands, depending on the severity, of people die from exposure in cold weather. Have you <clears throat> winterized your car? Have you put things in the car now? To be ready just in case you break down in bad weather. Do you have a good pair of boots in the car? I wear boots all the time. Not everybody does, okay? You drive to work in the morning, you work in an office, and you're in leather shoes, or ladies, you're in heels or something. You're in a skirt. If you break down on the side of the road, you better have warm clothes to put on, you know, sweater, jeans, sweatpants, socks, boots, that sort of stuff. You should have that in your car. Blankets in case you can't get anywhere somewhere to stay warm. Do you have fire starter, your bug out bag in your car in case you get stuck and it's blizzard conditions or something and you can't get out? It's this time of year to start doing this stuff or to have this stuff completed, preferably, while it's still nice enough outside that you're just thinking about getting something done, not thinking about rushing through it because you're cold, okay? I mean, we don't have to talk about the silly things, you know, have you changed your oil? You should be doing that all year, whatever. But do you have the just-in-case stuff in the car. Have you gone through your closets? Have you seen what you're going to need to wear? You don't don't need to go, oh man, it's cold outside. I need to go find my sweaters or hoodies or parka or gloves. Do you have spares? Especially things like gloves, knit caps, scarves, ski masks, Whatever. Again, depending on where you live. You live in Phoenix. I don't think you're worried about a ski mask. But you live up north, Midwest, in the Great Plains. It's probably a good idea. Have you pulled those out? Are they still good? Do they have holes in them? Maybe it's time now to replace them. Why do I say that? Well, real simple. As soon as you, and you guys know this happens too. As soon as it comes down that, oh my God, there's a storm brewing and we're going to get dumped on with two feet of snow on Wednesday, what happens Tuesday night? There's a rush on snow shovels. There's a rush on ski masks. There's a rush on gloves and you go to the store and can't find any. Get it now. Get ahead of the game. Winter's coming. It comes every year. We don't need, it doesn't surprise anybody, though the way the media will tell you, the way the weather channel, stuff like that, oh my God, it's the storm of the century. We have a storm of the century every year, apparently. So, but just be ready because we've all lived through crazy stuff. I mean, I lived through the blizzard of 78 in Chicago. Granted, I was a kid, okay? I remember making snow forts and stuff. It was great. You know, parents, not so much. Okay. 
even 10, 12 years ago, I was up in New England for the great ice storm where it was the week before Halloween and leaves were still all on the trees and it rained and then it froze on the leaves, which caused way too much weight for all the trees. Trees were down all over the place and we were without power for nearly a week. Okay. Do you have backups? We all remember just the last couple of years, what happened down in Texas or what happened around a lot of the country. I mean, I've told you the story about Brett coming in at the airport and, you know, it was 20 below or whatever for him trying to go from Indianapolis airport uh, back to his folks house. Yeah. You know, I mean, and he was picking up some guy picked up some guy as he left the airport on the side of the road who was walking whose car broke down that the guy wasn't dressed for that weather brett wouldn't have picked him up picked him up that guy would have been dead okay completely unprepared but these are the things have you checked your battery in your car there's a good one i just replaced mine the other day because it was time and cold weather will kill a battery do your winter preps now. Get yourself ready for what's inevitably coming. Think it all the way through. I know everybody wants to talk about, gee, I'm going to put up my Christmas decorations and I can't wait to get the turkey in the oven. Sure, that'll all come. But make sure you do the other things too. So just in case, like what happened to me and Mrs. P a couple of years ago, the power goes out on Christmas Eve while you're eating dinner. You don't have to panic. You just go, oh, no big deal. We flip this, we grab this, we do. And the night went on. Nobody was cold. Nobody was in the dark. We were good to go. Don't want to see anybody have problems or die because they were unprepared. This group should be the last group of people that isn't ready for a winter storm. But get yourself ready ahead of time so you don't have to do it in crunch time. Have a good morning. Pinball out.